Ladies and gentlemen, the staff of the Equine Affair welcomes you to the 16th Annual Equine Affair Exposition in Columbus, Ohio. At this time, we ask you to turn off all cell phones, pagers, and other electronic devices for the duration of the clinic. Ladies and gentlemen, the four Gypsy Associations participating in this year's Equine Fair are pleased to present the Gypsy Breed. It is now time to give wings to your imagination as we explore both the history and future of one of the world's most beloved and most misunderstood breeds of horse. We are pleased to share with you the beauty, magic, and charm that is the hallmark of a unique horse, horse bred by the Gypsy people. A relatively new breed, dreamed of and created by a culture known for its appreciation of bold colors, vibrant artwork, and mysticism. The Gypsy's horse reflects flamboyant appreciation of life. This magical horse encompasses the color and beauty of the Gypsy culture and combines it with a kindness and substance seldom, seldom seen in other horses. Never before has a breed so touched the human heart and inspired such emotion and imagination. The horses now in the arena are F. F. Chavo, a solid gray four-year-old registered Gypsy Cub stallion. Chavo is owned by Molly, excuse me, yes, Molly Ann Panulo of Fantasia Farms, located in Chester, London, Ohio, and is presented today in classic dressage attire by trainer Sarah Hall. Chavo has been in dressage training with Sarah since the fall of 2007 and made his show debut in May of 2008. Since then, Chavo has become a Northern Ohio Dressage Association High Point Champion and is consistently placed in the ribbons at every show entered. He is currently showing a training level and schooling at first level. Sir Gawain, the black four-year-old gelding. Gawain has the distinction of being the very first horse to enter the Gypsy Angel program. The American Gypsy Horse Angel Foundation is a division of the American Gypsy Horse Breed Association designed to selectively place Gypsy horses into highly qualified therapeutic riding centers. Sir Gawain is nearing the end of his training and will be placed in his new position later this year. The Gypsy Queen, a nine-year-old black and white Gypsy cob mare known for her extraordinary mane and wonderful disposition. The Gypsy Queen is a lovely mare and a wonderful ambassador for the Gypsy breed. The Gypsy Queen is owned by the All-Star Farm of Columbus, Ohio, and is presented by owner Daniel L. Cunningham. Desert Jewel Del Cassin, a five-year-old blue Saviano stallion. Del Cassin is on the taller side, standing 15 hands. He was imported from Ireland and is currently in training and ready to begin his show career. Del Cassin is owned by June Villa of Villa Banners in Shelbyville, Tennessee, and presented today by his trainer, Arnold Warmos. Eight-year-old gelding, named for his two crystal blue eyes. Old Blue Eyes is affectionately nicknamed Frankie. Frankie rides and drives, and he epitomizes the kindness and versatility of the gypsy breed. Able to excel in a variety of disciplines, or to be the perfect family horse. Frankie is being ridden today by trainer Gina Haggard. Frankie is owned by the Lucky Star Stables of Bluffton, Ohio. 
horses have had horses for as long as their culture has been in existence. But the horse we recognize today as the gypsy breed has only emerged within the past century. During the World Wars, the British Army conscripted many horses throughout both England and Ireland. Despite the conscription of thousands of horses, the Army would not take pinto-colored horses. So these are the horses the gypsies began using. In the mid-1900s, the gypsy breeders began infusing the blood of the Clydesdale and the Shire into their pinto-colored horses to add both foam, bone, and feather. They then introduced the bloodlines of the Dales and the Fell Ponies for their economical use of forage and more manageable size. By the early 70s, a breed type was well established and some magnificent foundation stock had been produced. These horses were used in nearly every aspect of the gypsy's life, from pulling the colorful wagons that were the gypsy's homes to pulling the smaller grays used for work. A gypsy's horses were his means of travel, his means of employment, and his greatest source of pride. Traveling the roads and often cared for by children, it was essential that the horses be strong, kind, and have a willing disposition. They also had to be of a hearty nature, sound, and easily kept, as there were no special provisions made for food or shelter. They lived on the vacant land and grass strips found next to the road. The gypsies take great pride in the horses they bred and use themselves. While the traveling people have now settled into more modern housing, you can still find the horse-drawn caravan on the roads here and there. Even though the traveling lifestyle is no longer a way of life, gypsies often attend many of the weekend horse fairs to either buy, sell, or just flash their horses. Weekends that they do not have a horse fair often find the gypsy families gathering together for a community drive. This usually consists of meeting at a prearranged site, forming a line and driving a 10-mile circuit. These drives will include dozens of horses pulling everything from the exquisitely ornate living tradition wagon to the handsomely carved and painted black carts known as drays or even the simple breaking card sim racing sulkies. Before and after the drive is the time for families to visit, catch up on all the news, and of course to prepare horses. The gypsies may not live on the road these days, but traveling, traveling is still very much a part of their heritage and the weekend drives keep that heritage alive. With less need for the larger draft type of horse, gypsies now prefer a smaller cob or pony type with an active and steady trot that will, and while these horses are not used for working, the gypsies love the flash then in front of the other. The largest ones are still kept for use in wagon horses and are often used by non-gypsy families as the great all-around horse. They are used to safe and safe mountain. 